familia. So praise the Lord. We're finishing out Romans today, Romans chapter 16. I commend to you our sister Phoebe, who is a servant of the church in Cancre. <laughs> so you should welcome her in the Lord in a manner worthy of the saints and assist her in whatever matter she may require your help. For indeed, she has been a benefactor of many and me also. Glory be to God. Give my greetings to Prisca and Aquila, my co-workers in Christ Jesus, who risked their own necks for my life. Not only do I thank them, but so do all the Gentile churches. Greet also the church that meets in their home. Greet my dear friend Epinetus, who is the first convert to Christ from Asia. Greet Mary, who has worked very hard for you. Greet Adronicus and Junia, my fellow countrymen and fellow prisoners. They are noteworthy in the eyes of the apostles, and they were also in Christ before me. Greet Ampliatus, Ampliatus, my dear friend in the Lord. Greet Urbanus, a co-worker in Christ, and my dear friend Zacchaeus. Greet Apelles, who is approved in Christ. Greet those who belong to the household of Aristobulus, Bulus. Greet Herodian, my fellow countrymen. Greet those who belong to the household of Narcissus, who are in the Lord. Greet Tryphania and Tryphosa, who have worked hard in the Lord. Greet my dear friend Persis, who has worked very hard in the Lord. Greet Rufus, chosen in the Lord, also <coughs> his mother and mine. Greet, I love that, Asin. Greet Asin, Pritis, Fledlon, Hermes, Petrobus, Hermas, and the brothers who are with them. Greet Philo, Gus, <laughs> and Julio, Julia, Nereus, and his sister, Olympus, and all the saints who are with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ send you greetings. Now I urge you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause dissensions and obstacles contrary to the doctrine you have learned. Avoid them. For such people do not, deserve, or do not serve Lord or Christ, but their own appetites, their own belly. They deceive the hearts of the unsuspecting with smooth talk and flattering words. The report of your obedience has reached everyone. Therefore, I rejoice over you, but I want you to be wise about what is good, yet innocent about what is evil. The God of Shalom will soon crush Satan under your feet. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, that's some encouragement in words right there. Glory be to God. Let it be so, Father, in Jesus' name. <laughs> I mean, he already says we do have that power, but it's an amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Yes, and amen. Timothy, my co worker, and Lucius, and Jason, and Sosa Pater, my fellow countrymen, greet you. I, Tertius, who wrote this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, who is host to me, and the whole church greets you. Erastus, the city treasurer, and our brother Gortus greet you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Bless the Lord of oh my soul. Oh, now to him who has power to strengthen you according to my gospel and my proclamation about Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery kept silent for long ages. Glory be to God, but now revealed and made known through the prophetic scriptures according to the command of the eternal God to advance the obedience of faith among all nations. To the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, to him be the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes and amen. Hallelujah. He deserves all the glory. He is such a good God. Well, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, that we were able to read the book of Romans together again. May the Lord bless us to hear his word once again together. In the mighty name of Jesus, and lead me into the next book. Hallelujah and amen. Bye. <laughs>